Hello, my name is Paul Miners, and welcome to another one of my Asana training videos. In this video today, I'm going to be answering the question, is Asana right for you? So if you're currently maybe new to Asana, but you're still evaluating whether Asana is the right fit, or maybe you're trying to decide between a few different project management tools, then I hope this video will help you to answer this question for yourself today. If you do need any more help with Asana, setting it up, training your team or getting more out of this tool, then have a look in the link below the description of this video to learn more about my consulting service and how you can get in touch with me to get one-on-one -on -one support. So let's get into this video and let me just start by talking about all the good things about Asana. And I'm going to start with something that maybe sounds obvious, but Asana really is a really nice, simple, easy to use project management tool. And I know that probably sounds cliche and every single project management tool out there probably advertises the fact that they are easy to use and simple and, and user friendly. But I would say in the case of Asana, it's actually really true. It's just something I hear coming up again and again from new users is they say, look, we tried a few systems, but we really liked the design, the layout of Asana. It was just kind of easy to use and the most pleasing to use. So I would say in the case of Asana, that statement is actually really true. And, and that's certainly what pulled me towards it initially many years ago. I'd say it also has all the essential features that a project management a project manager would need. So it's got things like you can set up custom fields for tracking information on your tasks. You can set up Gantt charts or what Asana calls the timeline. You can create dependencies. You can track employee workload. Uh, and so there really are, uh, there's, there's milestone tracking as well. Uh, so there really are quite a few features there that really make it a, a really nice introduction to project management. And actually it's quite powerful as well to really um, manage the bigger projects that you need to manage. It is also a great replacement for email and managing team communication. Uh, clients of mine who have used Asana, they are the most successful where they pretty much stop using email for their internal communication and they have all their communication in Asana where they're actually managing their work. That's where it, you can be really efficient is you're doing your work or you're managing your work right alongside your conversations. And so I actually find the conversations that you do have are more efficient. You are kind of just making decisions quicker. You're always reminded about what do we need to do next to move our work forwards. And so it's a really nice way to communicate. And Asana has a very unique way of uh, communicating in its tool compared to other tools like Slack and Trello. Uh, I'd say just the, the communication experience in Asana is, is really very pleasing and easy to use. It's also good that you can kind of pay for what you need. Asana has a very generous free plan to get started. There's no limit on the number of projects or anything like that. So you're really not going to be forced to upgrade until you get to 15 users in your account, which actually is very generous. But you can then pay for the features that you need. So most people end up going on to the premium plan, which means you get things like private projects, timelines, milestones, dependencies, what I mentioned earlier. Um, and then if you choose to, you could go onto the business plan to get things like the portfolio and workload and other even more advanced features. So you can actually start with Asana in a really simple way and you only need to pay for the extra features when you feel like you need them, when you're more confident and your company is more established on Asana. I'd say Asana is actually great for small, medium or large teams. It really doesn't matter. I'm using Asana mostly on my own with an assistant and a couple of contractors, but and I've known lots of other individuals to use it. I also know small to medium sized teams that are using it, you know, people between five to 10 or 15 employees, right up to big enterprise, uh, big organizations where maybe one department within a larger organization might use it or even multiple departments. It really is a very scalable tool. And so I think it's, it, if you think that, oh, maybe we're too small or maybe we're too big, I'd actually say um, completely disregard that. Uh, go and have a look at it, have a try. And I think you'll be surprised that it, it can actually, it's really amazing that it can be used equally well for small up to large big companies. And finally, I'd say there's lots of uh, different ways you can use Asana. It has lots of different views. There's things like the list view, the timeline, the board, or the calendar. So no matter what type of project you're managing, there's a view or a way to use Asana that's going to be in line with the type of project that you're managing. And you can really customize Asana. Um, you can add custom fields and use tags and things like this to really customize how it's used. So that's, uh, those are sort of the, I mean, there's, there's lots more to it, but those would, would be what I would say the main kind of pros or the good things about Asana. Now, the uh, the downside or the not so good things are, I would say that it lacks some more advanced project management capabilities. So things like if you want to create a snapshot of your project, like your timeline, and then record how your, 
your projection change compared to what you actually did. That's like a feature that you know maybe is more common in more advanced project management workflows. That's something that Asana currently does not support. Other things like, you know, with advanced project management, some people want to track like the actual cost or time versus the estimate. It doesn't really have that kind of functionality natively built in. You can, to a degree, set that kind of thing up with the custom fields. But that would be what I would identify as one of the first um, kind of limitations is that for more advanced project management workflows, you may find Asana to be a little bit limited. It's, it's kind of built for everyone as well. It's not specific to any one industry, which, which is great. It's a very versatile tool uh, and it can be customized, like I've said, but it's not really specific to any industry. So I have had clients come to me and say, you know, can we set it up to work in this very specific way? Um, maybe for, let's say, you're a real estate company, they wanted to do certain things. Um, but because Asana is built kind of for everyone, not really specific to an industry, when you are choosing a project management tool, you may find something that's more suited to your industry or to your niche, um, but because Asana is more of a general tool. It doesn't have some native features that some people need, like it doesn't have native time tracking, for example. That's where Asana does lean on uh, the integration with third-party tools like Harvest and just other, other tools in its marketplace. Um, you know, if you really want to extend what Asana can do, you, you sometimes rely on plugging into other third-party systems. And finally, I'd say there is a bit of a lack um, of detail in the when it comes to reporting as well. Asana does have a reports feature where you can kind of create like a filter and you can find specific tasks. But I would say that this um, this isn't really reporting. It's not really true reporting where you can see graphs or pie charts of like you know tasks completed last month in more of a graphical visual way. Again, that's where you might need to plug Asana into a third party tool like Bridge Twenty Four, for example. So those would be, I'd say, just some, not all, I mean, you probably find your own as well, but just some of the limitations with Asana. If you have any questions about the good things or the bad things with Asana, please feel free to leave me a comment below this video. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next training video.